What is up guys, Julius here, and today I will teach you how to motion track a different sky in Adobe After Effects. But without further ado, let's get started. So what I've prepared here in my After Effects is a clip of a moving car. And as you can see, the sky is kind of moving. So what we want to do is motion track the sky here that I just found. So like the stars will stay in the same place. And I will also do some color grading and stuff like that to make it blend well. But how, how do we get started? The first thing you want to do is go over here to tracker and track camera on your clip. And if this is not here, you can just go into window and go to tracker and toggle it on and off like so. But hit track camera and let that run. All right, it is all done with the tracker. And as you can see, it creates all these spots that we are able to motion track to. But the next step I think is we're gonna go over here into our effects. And then we're gonna remove this guy by doing some keying. There's a bunch of ways you can do this. You could maybe mask it out by hand, right? Sit here with a pen, or you could use the automatic rotor brush. But I think what will work nice here, since it's like a relatively blue sky, I think something like a linear color key will work just wonders here. So apply that to your layer and click this key color thing and select somewhere in the sky. And as you can see, it keys out relatively nice. There is like some stuff which is going through here. So maybe we should just change the softness just the tiniest bit. So maybe something like five. Let's see how the skyline holds up. There's some blue going through, but I think I think this will do fine. So next up, I'm gonna apply our sky underneath our clip, like so. And this is actually coming through, but I think I think it would be fine. It will kind of act like some some clouds, so the sky isn't like super bright. And I think I think it will work fine. But what you will actually notice now that we applied it underneath, even though we tracked the clip, like the the the, the sky is the sky is not looking like it's supposed to be right it's it's moving and we want it to stay still so what we have to do now is go back into our clip here and under effects go into the 3d camera tracker so we get these dots again and you just want to select a bunch of them this doesn't really matter and right click and create null on camera like so and this is basically just a null object this track null which will follow the movement of the camera and what we want to do is link this picture to our null. And we do that just by enabling 3D by clicking this little button here. And as you will see now, our sky will be perfectly still and motion tracked to the image. If you're using a smaller image than what I'm doing, I'm using a 4K image, you might want to like scale it up or find a bigger image. So yeah, I really like this look. Let's just take a look at the clip. So, I mean, this effect is basically done, but what do we do to sell this effect? We can do some color correction. So firstly, what I'm gonna do here is go into color correction, and I'm gonna apply the Lumity color to our clip, so our mountain clip, right? And what I think I will do here is go into basic correction, and I will turn the exposure a little bit down. I'm trying to get it to match the sky here somewhat, and it's the night, right? That's why you can see the stars. I'm gonna turn the exposure down, maybe to negative one. And I think let's do the contrast something like 75. And usually there's not that many shadows and stuff like that in the nights. I'm just trying to make it really dark here. The white's also down something like this. And then maybe let's go into curves. And let's turn down the reds and the greens. Nice, I like that. But the sky still stands out, so what I'm going to do here is right click down here, hit new, adjustment layer like so, and I'm going to apply the lumetric color to our adjustment layer. And in here I think I will go into creative and maybe choose a preset like SL Blue Moon or something like that. So it blends nice in, but this blue moon is very blue. So I'm going to go into curves and maybe just turn down the blues just a little bit, just to make it this nice dark look. And currently I think the sky should also maybe be scaled down just a little bit. Oh, not the 
much. Maybe can we do 95 without it cutting? Yeah, that looks nice. And now that we have this adjustment layer, we can maybe go back in and play a little bit around with some of the, the inputs. So what happens if we turn the exposure to negative 0.5? That looks nice. And skies or like stars aren't usually super bright. So I think I'm going to go over here to my effects and presets, blur and sharpen. And maybe, hmm, maybe gonna apply a radial blur. Why not? Let's try that. Oh, that's maybe a little bit too insane. Let's do five, maybe. No, that's too little. 15. And this blur will just basically blur from the middle and out. Does this look nice? It looks a little bit weird. I think uh, I think we'll just use a, a good old um, Gaussian blur, I think. I should apply that to the stars. Just give them the slightest amount of blur, like 5%. Just play around with what works. We kind of want to blend them in, right? All right, that looks somewhat decent. I think the last thing I want to do this maybe just color correct the sky image a little bit. So I'm gonna go back into my color correction. And maybe apply a tint, could that look good? I'm trying to make it look natural here, but it's very difficult with night shots. I think this is some of the best I can do. Take a look guys. But anyways, that was all I had for this tutorial. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. But anyways, see you tomorrow guys. Bye bye.